Yeah, good afternoon. Dan from Midwest Technical Sales. I hope you're intrigued and maybe not offended by our title, Check Your Nuts. We are referring to the nuts that secure the bolts in your magazine, in your Dell Powerball 2000, 4000, HP MSL, or any type of uh, MSL 2024, or any other type of library that uses these types of uh, magazines. Uh, this is not staged. Uh, we just finished testing off this particular library for a customer, so we print the results up. But part of our inspection process is we always check the magazines themselves to see um, if there's any issues with them. Uh, looking at this one, when we flipped it over, we find out a lot of the screws fell out, and there's still a couple more that are in here yet. These screws um, hold the top part of the magazine in. In fact, I think every one of these screws is we only have three screws in there that didn't fall out. So there's supposed to be two, four, six, eight, ten screws holding this magazine together. And you have a lot of issues with it coming apart if you don't have the screws in there. The screws themselves are about three, four inches long. And they're held on in place with a two by 56 nut. Um, if you want to go out and buy them yourself, you can. Number two a nut. 56 stands for 56 threads per inch, so it's a real fine nut that goes on there. Uh, on this one, we had seven of them that were out. And we also had one that we just about couldn't uh, believe what it looked like, but it was actually bent. Um, the top part of it was bent, so you can see a lot of damage. You can see how unstable this particular magazine is. But with those in there, it actually worked. So what the manufacturer did, is they put a little bit of blue Loctite on here and the blue Loctite is a medium strength Loctite and they only put it on one side they didn't put it on both sides now engineers are pretty smart I don't know why they did that but anyways um, and it looks like how they did that is they first applied the blue Loctite stuck this in and then took the nut and tightened it down uh, if you're going to go out and buy your own blue Loctite blue Loctite, uh, even though it comes in a red container. And this one here is, um, it's uh, the official Loctite is 242, that's the number on it. It's a medium strength Loctite, so you actually can remove it. So what I'd recommend, um, and then you say, well, wh where did my nuts go? Well, I mean, I don't know where they went, but they could be inside of the library. Once you have the library in this position, you can rotate it, 180 degrees, see if you hear anything cheeking around in there, flip it back, do it a couple times, you hear nothing in there. You also can stick your hand in here and feel around, okay, if there are any nuts. Now, if we have any attorneys watching, obviously you want to turn the power off before you stick your hand inside there, okay, whatever. So, uh, uh, if you don't have the nuts, they could have also been on the bottom of the library, you pulled the library uh, magazine out and they fall on the floor. One of our customers said, yeah, I saw these little things, screws on the floor in front of the library, didn't know what they were for. So anyways, um, I'd encourage you as preventive maintenance to check these things. Um, the screw uh, takes a double lot Phillips head screw, two zeros in front of it. Oh, here's the bent one, look at that. I was looking for it, couldn't find it. Check this out. That actually, I'm rotating it, this actually was bent in there. You know, and this is stainless steel, this is tough stuff. How it happened, I have no idea. But anyways, stuff can happen. So anyways, uh, check them, put your finger on the here, tighten them up, and if you've got any missing, what you want to do is replace them. Um, we'll sell you um, a pack of five, seven, 750, not a big deal. Um, and if you need any of these pins, like if you have a bent one, you don't want to use that one, uh, these are five bucks. And I do have extra things of these Loctite if you need them. You know, you can go buy all this stuff yourself, run all over the place, but you can just send in a request to us at uh, mwtss.com. That's Midwest Technical Sales and Service.com. Or go to our other website, which is repairmytapedrive.com. Just fill out the RMA request in there and we'll you can pay us by credit card or PayPal, doesn't matter, we'll just ship them out to US mail so you can have all this stuff together. 
Um, that's about it. Um, uh, well, maybe go to the last thing. You know, it depends what you want to do. If you want to fill this whole thing up with Loctite and stick it in there and put your nut on, you can do that. But I suspect there was a reason in the manufacturing process they did it this way. But I just let you draw your own conclusion. It doesn't really matter which way you do it. Uh, the Loctite will secure that. And if you're in a hurry, you got to get it done, you don't want to use Loctite, this is strictly up to you. You could flip it over, make sure they're all tight, and then go ahead and take a drop of super glue. Put a drop of super glue on it, it might hold it. It's not the way to do it, but if you have to do it, you have to do it. Then when you're reassembling this, this guy is in pretty bad shape, okay? So what we want to do is get all the screws in there and get them snuggled, snugged up a little bit. Start in the center, snug, you know, center, each side a little bit. Not a lot, but just a little bit and then do the ends a little bit. So make sure they're kind of like finger tight, you know, I mean, you know, not real tight, a little bit tighter. And then go back to the center and sort of sequentially tighten them up, you know. Front center, back center, over here, front, back, front, back, front, back. Just like you're putting a wheel on a car, you know, you torque down the, the bolts on it uh, away. So that's about all I have. Uh, thank you for your time and thanks for watching. and. Uh, We'll have some other TL2000 shirts. Oh, one more thing for you. What I probably should do is show you that. One more thing. I'm sorry. Forgot this. This little key here, okay? This is a little lockdown key. And what it does, it fits in this slot here, okay? And if you're going to move your library, if you're going to ship it any place, you need to install this key. And how you install the key is you, you power the library down via the front button. Don't pull the um, power cord out because the picker won't go back to home. But the picker's going to go back to home. You put this in this slot for shipping and you have to remove it before you turn it on and put it where it belongs. There's a little slot back over here. Sits right back there. Stick it in there. Put a piece of tape over and you're good to go. Again, thanks for your time. Dan Midwest Technical. Look forward to uh, getting some requests for some uh, nuts and bolts and stuff. <laughs> we also do a lot of repairs on these things. So thanks for your time.